Okay, so I wasn't sure if I was going to uh, dive into the dungeons in Dark Alliance, but I'm kind of feeling up to it right now. So we're going to be doing a little bit of that in today's video. We're going to dive into the first dungeon that unlocks after you beat the final act of the game. There's three dungeons in the game total. The big thing that I do not know is if they are soloable or not. I am going to try to solo them. If it doesn't work out, then I do believe there's matchmaking in the game. As you can see on the left side, it says current session offline. I think if I just go online, it'll kind of group me up with others that are doing something similar. So that is what we're going to be doing in today's video. Thank you guys for tuning in, watching it. Make sure if you are not subscribed, you do that now. Hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, so that way you don't miss a single thing that happens on the channel. All right, so this one is called The Mask of Kelvin. A frost giant named Utar is attempting to break into Kelvin's tomb and recover an, recover an artifact that he believes will help him find and claim the crystal shard. There's axe to this all by itself as well, so... Interesting. I didn't realize that they all had axe to them. I am just now learning this. Well, we'll, uh, we'll see how this goes. Kelvin's cairn was named for the great frost giant king of old who was buried beneath it. So the legend told. Utar was one of the few remaining frost giant kings of Icewind Dale. He had delved deep under Kelvin's cairn and broken the seal set by the clerics of Tempest on the tomb of Kelvin. Utar's actions had disturbed the dead, and we would have to lay them back to rest before following Utar into the catacombs of Kelvin's fallen city. All right, ghosts of the past doesn't sound ominous at all guys uh we did we were able to do the third difficulty uh, i did change up my gear a little bit so i could have more critical hit chance and critical hit damage so i should be putting out more damage in general despite this being orange now and we're not really beyond that level we're gonna go ahead and try the third difficulty here again we'll see how it goes if it doesn't work out we just bump it down a little bit now this this kind of having an act system as well as the rest of the game, I am thinking that it should be something that we'll be able to do solo. I don't think it's going to be something that we really have to worry about grouping up with others. So that's what we'll do. I actually like that guy's helmet quite a bit. That looks pretty cool. So those guys are rather, uh, rather large. I know they're frost giants and everything, but damn, that guy was huge. Um, so here we are. Okay. So our main objective is to reach the mushroom garden. Optional is defeat Jorn or Jorn the twice risen and destroy giant cursed urns. 20 of them. Oh, hey, that was rigged. Okay. Kelvin's care. Sacred ground for frost giants. I'll see them sealed into this tomb alongside their greatest ancestor. Oh. Okay, so that was one of the cursed giant urns. Uh, I didn't... Wasn't really expecting that, but okay. So I guess we'll have to keep an eye out for those. I won't stress it too much. If we get them, we get them. If not, 
Not a big deal. Also, I did up the effectiveness of all of my potions, so we'll be able to get quite a bit out of these things now. What the heck are these? All right, let's just dive in, I guess. All right, so that combo is still highly effective. I discovered a specific combo against uh, Castle when we were fighting him where we were able to just do a ton of damage in a small amount of time. So I'm going to be making uh, a lot of use of that. That combo right there. Basically, you sprint at them, tap R1, well, like this. You tap R1, and then you just spam the right trigger, and it just lays down the damage, man. It's insane. Uses stamina like crazy, but... A small price to pay for the damage. Getting items already. A rare ring. Nice. Hey, dude. Every wraith tainting the statues of Tempest must be destroyed before moving after Utar. Okay. Well, let's see if there's any of these cursed giant urns in the area. Yep, there's one. Didn't realize that was one either. I, I just don't have an eye for it right now, I guess. Okay, we have warmth, so we can go through the ice. Let's see here. Also, um, we are into July 5th now. By the time you guys are seeing this video, it'll be July 5th. So hope uh, anyone that celebrates Independence Day in the States had a good day. Hope everything was safe and fun for you. All right, do we have warmth? We do have warmth. All that for a common pelt. Lame. Okay, I'm just going to take this damage, I guess. Damn it. Okay. So far, so good. You know, if I had known that this whole uh, dungeon thing was based on axe like the rest of the game, I would have been much less reluctant to get into them. I'm not going to lie to you. Okay, even though that's <laughs> locked behind a cage, we can still open it. A ladder here. All right, I'm assuming that's a dead frost giant. Okay, epic warhammer, nice. The collector. All right, you can have this, buddy. That's good damage, man. That's good damage. Oh, I forgot I sent out a little wave. Wow, that damage was real. Oh, no, dude. I have to heal again. Oh, I am. F Wait. I have health. What are you talking about? Okay, apparently that killed me. I used my potion and it healed me up and I still died. That's really awkward. It must be that the timings for the potion and how it refills your health was just not fast enough for how much damage I took there. What was shown visually is not what actually happened. That's kind of unfortunate, but what can you do? We go back there and do it again. All right, so the collector's a jerk. I see you there. I'm coming back. Don't you worry. Ladder, please. All right, I'm back. How you doing? 
Oh, good, he's on fire. Oh, good, I'm taking more damage. Here, have this. Uh, yeah, that's awkward. Oh, that's not good. Oh, let's not do this again. It's very difficult to fight a troll in uh, that small amount of space. That sucks. We actually did very high amount of damage in a small amount of time there, too. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. All right, so that guy's a bit of a jerk. Sacred ground. Twice already? I'll see them sealed into this tomb alongside their greatest ancestor. All right, I have my ability again, so I guess I'm just going to pop up there, try to get some initial damage on him, set him on fire again. Hopefully he doesn't resist. Use my ability, and then we just got to play smart. Nope, that didn't work. Here you go. Have this. Come, troll. I do not fear you. Oh, no. Oh, I still took that damage. These animations are a little wonky. What? Oh good, he's on fire. That'll help. He's, uh, healing for a lot here. Yeah, I'm getting greedy now. Oh my god. <laughs> this guy is a pain in the ass. He just, uh, gave me the open hand slap and I auto-died. What the heck? I do good damage against him, but he does even better damage against me. I know there is some armor that can reduce incoming damage and gives us certain resistances and whatnot. I'll see them sealed into this tomb alongside their greatest ancestor. So that might be a thing I have to consider going further into these dungeons, but I know I can take this guy out. I mean, I've done so much damage to him already. I just got to not get hit by these basic attacks. That's on me. Strongest enemy in the game. Good, he's on fire. Have this. Wait. Wait, what happened? Uh, why did my ability just go that way? I, I don't like that. I actually blocked that. That's good. How did I take damage when I was out of that range? I'm not going to lie. Some of the, like these things right here, their range is a little bit ridiculous it's really hard to tell where things are actually going because it's doing damage outside of the shown range of it Another chance for glory. oh good he's on fire that'll help a lot might even kill him all right there he goes oh my god 
<laughs> we got an achievement out of the deal. The deal. Uh, defeat every troll archetype in his elite form. Okay. Epic necklace. We take those. All right. He's done. He's done. It's gone. Papa bless. All right. Moving on. Yeah. Like, um, the animations for some of that stuff were not adding up. We have a verbeek here. Gross. What the heck was that? Got one for you, boys. Where's that goblin shaman? Please go away. Oh my god. Okay, everything hurts a lot. Not good. Not good. Never beak is ugly. Okay. Kelvin's Cairn. Sacred ground for frost giants. I'll see them sealed into this tomb alongside their greatest ancestor. So he took down the troll and immediately died of the Verbeeg follow up. Oh boy. I took a surprising amount of damage from the, uh, the frost shaman there as well. I'm going to target him first right away this time. Stop. All right, he's gone. Can't wait to make up some Have some of this. Now, come here, you. There you go. More things are spawning. Do not like that. Nope. What the heck? Ooh. Combo. Alright, I need to get out of range of that. Hit it. There we go. Nope. Oh, where's my stamina? Oh, my stamina's gone. Oh, sad boys. All right, I'm gonna have to heal after that. No! Her beaks are the worst. Quit playing about there we go. Once you can knock them down, you can really go all in on them and just really take them down from there. But getting them to actually stagger is the hard part. They have a very strong uh, sense of balance. Right, there's another uh, cursed urn thing. Right, let's see where this path over here takes us. Secret things. For the elk's Wait. Oh. That's. That's Jern. The twice risen. Uh, is it just you and me, buddy? Oh. Uh, awkward. Hey, so I set him on fire. That's cool. I think he's broken.
He has the same moveset as the uh, a boss from a couple of acts ago, too. Oh, that's ice. Get out of the ice, you dummy. This is not how it ends. What am I doing, man? Can I lure you in the... No, you're a frost giant. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I just hit him with the weakest auto attack. Oh, I can't believe I dodged that. Honestly, he's not very hard. Yeah, that was not hard at all. I've had far more difficulty with the Verbeeg that we just fought and the troll before that. It might be because we're in this very limited area and he wasn't really able to move for the first half of his health, but that was... I mean, most of the damage I took was from this little ice field right here because I'm dumb, but, you know. You know. Oh, hey, there's a tome there. Okay, that went well. That went well. Got our health potion back. All right, let's go up here. Okay, so we got one of the optional objectives already. Only three out of 20 earned so far, though. Oh, there's another troll over here. There is an attribute point, though. It needs a keystone of some kind. So I don't know if we're going to find the keystone in here. I'm kind of thinking that maybe we should come back after we have the keystone. Oh, there's two keystones needed, actually. Okay. Yeah, I think we need to come back here. Here's a cursed urn. We need warmth to get through there. What's this do? Okay, keystones are in here then. Issue I have is this troll. So what I'm gonna do is use this potion of heroism and we're just gonna go ham on him. Are you kidding me? Oh no. Ah, oh, these shamans ruined everything, man. I guess it's what they're there for. Oh, what the? Okay, yeah, these shamans do a ridiculous amount of damage, too. Holy. Everything hurts. Nope. Nope. See what I mean? Like that, it, I was outside of that shown range and it still hit me. That really blows. Oh my god, it did it again. More foes for the foe hammer. That's a little annoying, guys. <laughs> again. Oh my god. It's like I, I, it can't miss at all. I don't understand. What is that? Get way away from it. Come, troll. I do not fear you. Okay, that was not intelligent of me. I got greedy. Hey, bud. What is this arrow behind me? I 
If I get hit by anything here, I'm dead. Oh, nice. Barely got that, guys. Barely. I have no health. Yikes. Okay, please have health potions. Yes? No? Okay, I'm sad. And at least we got the attribute point. Oh, we got healed by that, too. That's good. That's very good. I got to figure out what the deal is with those animations uh, for those ice attacks still hitting me. I really am not understanding that at all. All right, here's our warmth. Not really a fan of it, but there's got to be something I'm doing wrong. I, I don't like to blame the game itself. I feel like there's something I'm doing wrong, something I'm not seeing. We'll just have to keep our eyes open. Given that there's already been two of them, I have to imagine we're going to be fighting at least one more on the level. That's the way it goes. All bad things come in threes. Threes and sevens or something like that. I don't know the rumor or the phrase. All right, cool. It's home. How long we gotta wait for Uta? Oh. Hello, friend. Not sure why that shaman got pushed to the side, but... Again! Bro. Stop it. Stop it. Ow. Oh, dude, these guys are just getting pushed in all sorts of directions. All right, here, have this. 300 elite monsters defeated. Nice. Stop hitting me with arrows. And I'm almost dead. Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. Everything is good. Smash. Yeah, don't make the barbarian angry, dude. All right, unfortunate that I had to heal against basic goblins, but oh well. Hmm. Reach the withered orchard. For the elk tribe. Nice. These guys do look really cool. Ah, stamina. Stamina. It's okay. For some reason, these guys are really slow to attack. Wait. Why aren't you... Okay, there it is. Let's say, why aren't you doing anything? You have a very low amount of health. Ow. I mean... Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take this rest here again. Not sure why those uh, last few had so little health. It looked like 
mages of some kind, but just very, very low health. All right, I see a chest over there on the right, but I need something for warmth to get over the ice. Yeah. Where do we get that? Oh, there's an urn. I guess it's a good thing we're looking around here, huh? Uh, let's see. Maybe we got to go over here. See that down there as well. I don't see any of the sword things that give us warmth. A okay, seven out of twenty. Hmm. So there's a chest there on the other side of the ice as well. There's another urn. I see a warmth sword all the way over there, but there's no way we are able to get over there and then run all the way back here and still have the warmth. No way, no how. So, I must be missing something. Ah, right here. It's not really visible from that other angle. So it looks like it, just in this one act alone, it's really making you look around more than usual. As far as like looking at things from different angles. Yeah, there's another urn right there. I didn't even see it the first time. But okay, we got those. Now we carry on. Also, I, you know, with how many urns I just found in this spot, I've likely already passed a bunch, so there's that too. Nope. Yeah, we all oh got another troll. Here we go. Oh, he's a poison one. Oh yeah, this is some good, good damage. Ah, uh, this is not cool. Oh yeah, poison damage, baby. All right, I've got him healing already. And I just took a backhand of doom. Get out of there. There we go. I think, honestly, the best way to fight the trolls is just run in, hit them with one attack or two attacks, and then get out. Don't even worry about comboing them. The combos are where the big damage comes in, and they have do have a lot of health, but I think those guys specifically, if you're soloing, you just ha kind of have to hit and run. If you stay in too long, you just get hit by ridiculous amounts of damage. That's really hard to hold off. I mean, I'm a barbarian and I have a lot of health and everything and I just yikes, you know, just yikes. So I think the lesson learned here with those is to get in, hit once or twice and then get out. Let's see what's over here. There's an urn. To refresh our warmth. Common necklace. We've got 11 out of 20 of these urns. I feel like we're doing okay there. Uh, 
There's another one there. Okay, more of these guys. Another chance for glory. Uh, I should probably take out the archers, huh? Whoa, sir. Excuse you. I'm not sure how I didn't get hit by that. Why am I taking... Hmm. Was I out of stamina there? Wasn't able to dodge. I must have been. Go ahead and drink a stamina potion. Get my stamina back. And they just absolutely nuke that guy for damage. Oh. Cancel the animation for the rest of the damage on that, too. <laughs> you actually have to let it follow through. It doesn't just go off by itself, unfortunately. You, sir. Here, you can have this. Just go away. So yeah, when you uh, send out the little uh, ice wave there, if you stop the attack, even after your hammer hits the ground and sends the wave, if you pick up the hammer at all, it just stops it from going forward and continuing damage, which kind of sucks. Means you have to like wait for it, even if it's not ideal. So, the only time I'll really do that is if I'm in a good spot to do so, I guess. It's not a good, like, it's a good combo against a group of enemies, but if they're not staggered by it, then you just end up kind of getting messed up for it. Something to keep in mind. I see an urn up here. And a chest. Are we going to find another troll up here? No? I don't see one of those pools. Chests are giving a lot of gold now. A tablet. It wants me to go that way. Is there anything over here? No, but it is kind of nice. Some big crystals over there. Let's see if that does anything for me. Nope. All right. I think we got everything here. I think this is where we destroyed an urn a moment ago. Yeah. Ah, a troll. We're going to go ahead and use our alt on this guy. I'm glad we're able to win 100 to zero one. I think that shaman was supposed to be able to spawn and kind of protect the troll. But we killed him so quickly that he couldn't. I'm not sorry. He had it coming. Okay. We did find an epic warhammer earlier. 
but I don't know if it's going to be of any use considering. Actually, no, no, we're on the same difficulty that we found this hammer on, so it might be better, possibly. There's an urn. Oh, secret secrets. Secret secrets. Yeah, I feel like uh, this level specifically has had me looking around a lot more than previous levels. All right, we got a frost troll here. Or, sorry, a frost giant, rather. Hey, buddy. Get out! Get out! Okay, good. Very good. So it's a little greedy of me to do that, but we didn't take any damage, so we're we're okay. Hopefully I don't get wrecked after saying this, but I do feel like these frost giants are rather easy. I need you to do an attack, friend. Come on. Come on, do something. Oh, I walked into that. That's my bad. on fire look at that fire damage dude see ya so long as there are wraiths around the statues of tempest my work isn't finished here so yeah they uh they do lots of damage if they hit you but their attacks are really easy to dodge the only thing you really have to work uh you know work around is the delayed animation on the ice spikes that come out when he down uh when he pounds the ground with his axe and then when he's doing like the shovel thing where he's running at you with his axe on the ground uh you need to make sure that you actually roll out of the way because if you just sidestep uh it's kind of like he's like a, a square hitbox instead of like a right around like the circles of his uh, of his feet um so it's like the square still hits you it seems and you have to roll to get out of the way of that just sidestepping will not do it the sidestepping visibly should do it but they're the hitbox of the of the giant uh frost giants there does definitely hit you unfortunately I see that there. Is there a warmth sword up here? Hello? Maybe over here. Oh, you know what? I just saw one right here. I'm a dummy. I, I looked at that thing for a good five seconds earlier. All right, let's refresh this just in case there's not one in there. Okay, we're good.
Tablets. Uncommon ring. A stamina could use a little bit of a refill here. Okay. There's only five of these uh, cursed giant urns left. But judging on looking over here, there's not much more of the level left either. So I don't think we're going to get them all, unfortunately. That's all right. Yeah. Looking rather ominous down here. Oh, great. Frost troll. Tempest is watching. I wonder if the troll will take damage if we lure him over here. You fall to I doubt it, but. I'd be very pleased if it would. The thing is, getting these trolls to actually move is kind of difficult. I can't believe I didn't take damage on that. I could have done more damage there. I just didn't want to get greedy. Oh, nice. He unfortunately resisted the burn there, but All right, he's got the healing thing going on. Not cool, man. Ah. Oh, I staggered him. I got so lucky. Nope. Ah. I'm getting lucky with these staggers right now. That is that is insanely lucky again. Okay. I'm noticing since I'm not being greedy with my combos, though, that it's a little bit better for me here. The fights take a little long, but we survive. It's a learning process. Can't hit him with that ice orb right there. Oh, oh. Nice. Very good. <laughs> nice ragdoll, too. 
Okay. Let's check out over here. I feel like there's something over here. Oh, okay. More secret secrets. Got to time it just right. Oh, we took fire or ice damage, rather. Flame. Okay, maybe there's more left to this level than I thought. Or Tempest. I keep thinking because these guys have such low health that they're going to, like, blow up. These guys are annoying because they're stacking their animations up as well now. Yep. That stuff right there. Every time I go to swing at one, another one gets in my face at a different angle. Yeah, dude. Stop it. Thank you. Defeat every Wraith archetype in its elite form. Okay. Get achievements like crazy this dungeon, huh? So yeah, that was a little frustrating because they were stacking up their uh, animations. Like every time one finished an attack, another one would start. Well, that's okay. We got through it. We can take a short rest, regain our resources. There must be a fair bit left to the level then. Once we go over there, let's check out this side first. Seems like every area has something hidden. Yeah. Right, it's 16 out of 20. That's where we came in. I'm not seeing anything else here. Let's carry on. Now I have to ah. reset the seal of tempest to keep the dead suppressed. Okay, so I see a frost giant over there. We got 17 out of 20. That could very well be the last one. This is a huge area. Bunch of explosives in the area too that we can uh, lure him into. Hey man. How you doing? Oh no, there's another one right here. Oh, silencing crystals as well. Let me save myself a lot of grief and double check to make sure there's no more of those. I can't imagine it's just one all by itself, right? Well, maybe so. I don't know. Wait. Hey. I guess he's taking a nap. All right. He must wake up after I walk by him or something. Uh, oh, you know what? I didn't even realize these are things that we have to step on. My mistake. Another chance for glory. The husk of Torald Dragonbane.
Yeah, come on over here. Ooh, what was that, sir? I do not like you at all. And I'm cursed. Sweets. I gotta heal again. Oh my god. Leave me alone, sir. Very good. Come over here, man. There you go. That's all for you. Now it's just me and uh, poor old Dragonbane here. Come on in. Come on in, right here. Yeah, yeah. You know the drill. Hopefully that hits him. That doesn't hit him. <laughs> oh, perfect. Good criticals right there, too. My critical chance is pretty high now. I'm not sure exactly what it is. I'll have to check later, but I've been hitting a ton of criticals this uh, this act. You gonna do something? There you go. Look at that, too. Look at that damage. That's insanity. And then the ice spikes happen. Wait, the ice spikes didn't happen. That must be a different attack. Look at that, dude. Insane. So easy. Ice giants are very easy for the barbarian to take down. Very easy. The hardest part about that fight was just the number of uh, smaller enemies that were up there. The shamans and then the... Uh, I don't know what those other guys were. Not sure what those undead guys are called. But overall, that was... Honestly, the hardest part of the entire act was the very first troll. Up in that tiny little area where there's not really much room for maneuvering. But overall, I've learned that at the end of the day, when it comes to the trolls, they're not so bad as long as you don't get gritty with your attacks. Play it like Dark Souls. Just be careful, you know? Level 11, attribute point and a feat point. I think we got the other attribute point earlier on in the act as well, so that's looking good. All right. And we got a ton of loot this time around, too. I'm hoping that we can get a nice uh, upgrade to our Warhammer here. Show me the goods. Show me the goods. Keep our fingers crossed for a Warhammer, guys. My Warhammer right now is very, very good. Like, it, it does very good damage, especially with how much crit chance we have going on right now. So many of my attacks are just so hard hitting, and I love it. Okay, so this is 20 attack damage lower than what I currently have. But if we level it up, it might go higher. Plus that 96 lightning damage, and it'll equal out an armor penetration too. 
We'll have to check that out in a moment. Okay, the uh, cold resistance necklace, that's kind of big, um, considering it has 10 crit chance on it, too. We might have to equip that. Um, critical damage on the flag bearer helmets. Plus three on the armor as well. We got some good stuff out of this. Condition resistance, 9% critical chance. Oh my god. I think the flag bearer set is what you want on the barbarian. <laughs> Just if you're going for a damage build. 11% crit chance, plus two armor. We got some good stuff right there. All right. Let me check this out here. I don't know if I have the crystals to level up this uh, hammer, though. I don't. I only have five. I need 11 to get it going. What are we at here? 176, 156. If we could just level it up once, it might equal out. Well, no. We'll need it more than once. But the lightning damage all by itself does make up for a lot, too, because this is capped out at 59, and that starts at 96. Let's see. This. You want to upgrade. 36 of them. There we go. Let's do this. Just for science, guys. I just want to see. I just want to see. Let's upgrade it once. Okay, so it's 162 and 107 lightning damage. If we level it up again, it should most definitely pass this up. This is part of the flag bearer set, though, and it has 12% elemental penetration, which is pretty big, too. The 12% elemental penetration is what keeps setting my enemies on fire from the barbarian skill set in general. But I think with all that extra damage, it might be worth it. We need 13. I have zero. All right, let, let me just, you know what? We're just, we're sciencing. We're sciencing, guys, okay? Did I do that wrong? Oh, no, I did that wrong. I hit the wrong button, didn't I? I downgraded like a dummy. I hit X instead of A. That's my bad. Well, here we are again. Okay, so the base attack damage has gone above and beyond this by two, and our lightning damage is 112, which is nearly double our 59 cold damage. We will lose 12% elemental penetration, unfortunately. Uh, what is our what is the set bonus for this? On death, monsters have 5% chance of dropping health fragments. That's not great. But I still feel like we should use that anyway. I, I really do feel the extra damage. Uh, we have attribute points. We're going to pump that up into health. One into health. And then let's... Um... Hmm. Yeah, dexterity. Okay. Let's go ahead and put that on. Very nice. We're going to keep that here just in case because, you know, if we need to go back to it, if it just is more reliable, then we can just run back to it, you know? And then here, we're good on that. That's a lot of critical damage bonus right there, too, on this bad boy. Oh, we already have 18 on this, plus 9 crit chance. I think we keep that on. Yeah. I mean, we'd be, we would lose all that crit chance. And only gain 3% damage. We gained 3 armor out of the deal, too, but... Let's see here. There was something that I mentioned earlier. Is it this? Yeah, this. What do we have on now? 18% critical damage, 9% chance, 9% ultimate charge bonus, 30% cold resistance, 10% crit chance, 10% all charge bonus. We lose 18% critical damage for only 1% crit chance gain. 
but we also do gain an armor out of it as well this is max level this is not max level the issue is i don't have a lot of crystals going on right now i've got 1145 of the uh, green crystals that i can put into blue but that will just drain my money resources which I'm, I'm back down to only three digits on that too so i think this for now is better just for now that might be better later on that has elemental penetration on it that's pretty good leg guards one armor on that that's all we gain not worth then bracers what do we got what do i have on now this we'll lose our necrotic resistance bonus if we change over to tundra trapper but we gain 30 percent max hit points 70 percent stamina cost reduction and 35 cold resistance on top of five armor i think that is worth it this has even 11 percent extra max hit point bonus over this as well that's what we do there okay guys that is going to wrap up the video we have uh some new gear to try out here soon some new gear to try out here soon on the next act thank you so much for tuning in thank you so much for watching the video hey before you go make sure you leave a like on it when you leave a like on it it puts the video in front of more people on youtube and i'd really appreciate the support on that if you haven't already make sure you subscribe to the channel as well if you're enjoying the content in general there's going to be lots more of this on the way we're going to go through uh, more of this game. We're going to at least complete this one dungeon before picking up another game. There are some other games coming up, but not until later on this month. Uh, Death's Door comes out on the 20th, which is about two weeks away. And then on the 29th, I think, is The Ascent. I would like to check those games out. I'll likely make YouTube videos on that as well for you guys to check out too. All that said, thank you so much once again for tuning into the video. Thank you for leaving likes, comments, and subscribing, and I will see you guys on the next one.